there we go. Make sure you have some wall space in order to do that, but I will give you cues to use something that is not to engage your body in a way that you would work with a wall. And Donna, you know a little bit about how I would do that, okay? For those of you who are joining me on Instagram, always know that um, I will have to stop the video about an hour into it and then re-come back to the video um, if I can, if I can. Sometimes I can't, but um, we'll give that a try. But always know that the entirety of the class will be recorded as I am doing now in order to upload to YouTube, all right? So thanks for joining me. And I'm thrilled to be here with you and know that I will be here as long as I can to support you during this, the course of the extraordinary times that we're experiencing right now. We all are working with this in our own individual ways. It's triggering us in the ways that it needs to and everybody's going through it. And it's coming out in similar and yet different ways and at different times. So, you know, we do our best to do our practices, such as yoga, meditation, whatever it is, any kind of thing to get into our bodies is the best way for us to support ourselves and therefore be able to help other people, to be able to feel the solidity. And like I taught on yesterday, and I will continue to teach on this, to congratulate yourself for what you are doing to take care of yourself. And to anchor on that using physical practices of any sort is a great way to make that happen. So comment about a Kanasana, bring the soles of the feet together. Activate the feet by spreading the toes. I'm spreading my toes in my sparkly slippers. I will remove them a little later. And right now, breathe and feel for the current state that you're in right now, be it on a physical level, an emotional level. Whatever is the current state of the union of your body right now. Where in your body would you where would your body be best served by your breath? Send your breath to that place now. And breathe in the attention that you're giving to yourself and that part of you right now. Literally bathe your inner world, your inner space with that attention. Soak in the attention that you're giving yourself. And do two more breaths. Just really soak in, dive in. Luxuriate in the kind of attention that you're giving your breath, giving your body through your breath. and Uddiyana to dive into the core a little more. To go into the deeper parts of us that need maybe even more attention or we're not even aware of the attention that they're asking for. All right, so keep the feet into Baddha Konasana. Bring your hands behind you into a chest opening position. I'll turn so you see that. Keep the feet active, toes spread. Bring the hands behind for chest opening position, coming up onto the fingertips, palms lifted, active feet. 
Palabhati is short bursts of air through the nose, belly snaps back to spine. Draw us back. Snapping seems a little aggressive. So we start with a partial breath in and then it goes. Exhales through the nose. There's a passive inhalation. We'll do about 108. Right, so anchor down through the fingertips. Palms lifted, thumbs pressing, fingertips pressing. Chest broad. Take a partial breath in. And begin. Let that go. Take a deep breath in. Expand and open up the back of the rib cage, the sides, the front. And then bring the hands in front of you to stage two wrist position, fingertips towards the shins, thumbs lifted, and exhale out. Activate the feet, tuck the chin, keep the breath out, pull low belly back to spine. Let the belly go. Take a deep breath in, feel for the widening of the body. Hold the breath, feel that width. And see if when you exhale, you can maintain or increase that. Exhale now. Tuck the chin. Pull low belly back to spine. Let belly go. Deep breath in. chin, pull low belly back. Active feet push together. Let the belly go and inhale, peel your hands away from the floor, sit up tall. And have the intention during today's class to Maintain attention on yourself, on your needs, on your being. Move the breath to where you need it the most. Let's come into a forward fold that breath in to where you need it right now. Forward fold to any degree over the legs. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed. Feet active, legs turned on. And I've been teaching on this in our folds for a few class about this natural rate of release into a fold, allowing the breath to guide us into that place. So really take the time to pay attention to what really is your natural pace of movement. Really 
what your body wants to do rather than what you think your body needs to do. length from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Exhale, ease that breath out. Engage the feet even more, legs even more. And inhale to come up. Let's go right onto the back. Let's work with basic elbow to knee to start. And an elbow to knee, we'll work the basic moves of elbow to knee first, and then just to feel how that actually helps the low back open, how we use the abdominals to open and support the low back. You can stay with the basic moves even when we move to other things. P.S. If that's what your body needs, if that's the attention that you require. And very, very basic. These are kind of moves I made up that aren't forest yoga, but I'm making them up anyway. We can even not involve the shoulders whatsoever. Just have the elbows at bent at 90 degrees, arms at the sides, palms up to the ceiling. That's a possibility, right? And just work the legs. Give that a little try and see if that's something that might be what you need. Otherwise, interlace hands at the base of the skull and point elbows straight up for lifting the shoulders off the floor. Inhale. If you're lifting, lift shoulders off the floor now and activate the feet, everyone. Exhale, extend the right leg forward, turn elbows towards left knee and pull the low belly down. Reach through the right heel, spread the toes. Inhale, bring right foot back to center, elbows to center. Hold the breath, curl the tailbone up, get the back even flatter. Exhale, extend the left leg forward, turn elbows right, pull the low belly down, spread through the toes of the left foot. Inhale, bring leg back to center, elbows to center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, extend the right leg forward, push forward through the foot, pull the low belly down and tuck the tailbone a second time. Inhale, bring foot back to floor, elbows to center. Hold the breath, curl the tailbone up. Low back, mid back, flat. Exhale, extend left leg forward, turn elbows right, hold the low belly down. Spread through left toes. Inhale, foot back to the floor, elbows center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, extend right leg forward, turn elbows left, pull low belly down, flatten the back. Curl tailbone a second time. Inhale, bring foot back to floor, elbow center. Hold breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, extend left leg forward, turn elbows right, pull low belly down. Inhale, bring foot back to center, lower the shoulders, let arms come down to the floor. Make sure you have your block nearby. We'll do a few roll rounds of elbow to knee, working with the shoulders up and working with the feet up if you have that in your practice today. Otherwise, keep working with the feet on the floor, maybe without the shoulders at all. Pick your, you choose your moves, okay? And then we'll work some bridge. So have your block nearby if you need it for your bridge pose. Elbow to knee. Interlace hands at the base of the skull if you're going to lift your shoulders. Point elbows straight up to ceiling. Pick feet up off the floor 90 degrees. Knees not above the belly. They're actually a little further out so that you feel the low belly already engage. All right, and this is where you decide, is it better for my low back to work the basic or shall I move here? Breathe into that, make a decision. See what your body has to say. If you do have further to go, inhale, lift shoulders off the floor, curl tailbone up. Exhale, extend the right leg forward, pull belly down and push 
reaching through that right heel. Curl tailbone a second time. Inhale, bring knees back to center, elbow center. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up, get the back flat. Activate the feet. Exhale, extend right leg forward, excuse me, left leg forward, turn elbows right, pull low belly down. Inhale, back to center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, extend right leg forward, turn elbows left, pull low belly down, tuck tailbone a second time. Inhale, back to center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, extend left leg forward, turn elbows right, pull low belly down. Inhale, come back to center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up, get the back very flat. Exhale, extend right leg forward, keep the back flat, pull the belly down, reach through the leg. Inhale, come back to center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, left leg forward, elbows turn right, Pull low belly down. Pull it down again. Curl tailbone up again. Inhale, come back to center. Feet to the floor, shoulders down. Yay, thank you, elbow to knee. Now it's time to remove the sparkly sparkles. There they go. Use your block if you need to and bridge. All right? Bring your heels back towards your hips. Graze the heels with your fingers and bring arms to your sides, palms up. Other variations would be to start, inhale, into low back. Spread the toes and the heels, that's not a variation, that's a must. Push heels against the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, pull low belly down. This is the movement of bridge. Pause, breathe into the low back. Feel the current or change state of your body now. Hmm. Exhale, if you have further to go, push down in the heels, lift hips off the floor. Maybe now you take a block under your hips, placing it on the highest side that you would like, under the pelvis, right on the sacrum. I'm not going to use mine, but I wanted to show you. Ooh. Like I said, feel for what your body feels like now. What's the change? Has it changed since we started? What's the current state now? Hmm. Let's do stage three wrist stretches. Inhale, extend the left hand up to the ceiling. Grab a hold of the right pinky finger. And take a deep breath in. Actually, this is stage one. <laughs> Exhale, pull back on the pinky finger. Inhale, grab a hold of the ring finger. Right at the joint where you meet the palm. Push down to the feet. Exhale, pull back on ring finger. Inhale, push down to the legs. Grab a hold of middle finger. Exhale, pull back on middle finger. Inhale, grab a hold of the index finger. Exhale, pull on the index finger, stretch all the fingers wide, palm reaches to ceiling, shoulders into floor. Inhale, grab a hold of left thumb. Exhale, pull the thumb away from the wrist joint, stretch the fingers wide and pull back on the thumb, push down through the heels. Now we have another hand to do, so you may want your block now. All right, grab that. And if you do grab your block, place it in a way that you can really push the sacrum onto that block so you're actually still using the buttocks. And then lift the right hand, palm up. Take a deep breath in. Grab right pinky finger. And then exhale, pull back on the pinky finger. Inhale, take a hold of the ring finger. And then the next exhale, pull back on ring finger. Relax right shoulder now. Inhale, take a hold of the middle finger. And exhale, pull back on the middle finger. 
Inhale. Take index finger in your hands, feel it, and then exhale, pull back. Inhale, grab a hold of your thumb. Spread the fingers, and then exhale, pull back on the thumb. Relax your arms to your sides, push down through your feet, deep breath in. And exhale, keep pushing through the feet and tuck the tailbone, curling it up and up and up all the way to the floor. Tuck, 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 tuck. Nice. All right, grab your mat or whatever you're using as a rolled up prop. If you have a little further to go as well, you can take another block and place it between your ankles. That's an up level. It's an option. I'm going to actually do that because I want that engagement in my ankles. You don't need to go. You pick. Again, this practice can also be done with the elbows on the floor bent at 90 degrees, palms up. Activate the feet, spread the toes. That's everybody. And actually, let's do some basic ones first, and then we'll move it up. So bring your feet back to the floor. If you lifted them, spread the toes, spread heels into the floor. Arms are in the cactus or interlace hands behind the skull if you're lifting the shoulders today. Take a deep breath into the low back. Spread the toes. Squeeze the prop. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, lift shoulders up. Pull low belly down. Inhale, lift shoulders down. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze your prop. Exhale, squeeze on the props again, pull low belly down, lift shoulders. Pull low belly down again. Inhale, lay shoulders down. If you want to move further, you can pick the knees up at 90 degrees or straight up. Exhale, fully here. Deep breath in. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the props. Spread the toes. Exhale, lift shoulders up. Give the props another squeeze. Draw sit bones to tailbone and pull low belly down. Inhale, lay shoulders down. Keep the feet active, legs strong. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up and squeeze props. Exhale, lift shoulders off the floor. Give the props another squeeze. Pull the belly down. Draw sit bones to tailbone. Inhale, lift shoulders down. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze props. Active feet. Exhale, lift shoulders off the floor. Pull belly down, squeeze sit bones to tailbone, pull belly down again and reach through the legs. Inhale, lift shoulders down. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze prop. Exhale, lift shoulders up. Pull belly down, draw sit bones to tailbone, squeeze the props again and reach to the legs. Pull belly down again. Woo, inhale, feet down. If you're working with your block, actually I'm gonna keep working with it. You can keep it between your feet if you're working that. For bridge, for the prop. Place whatever prop you're using between your thighs, maybe an extra one between your feet. Arms at your sides. Thumbs up. Take a deep breath in. Spread the toes, push the heels down. Exhale, squeeze the prop, lift hips off the floor. Hmm. Bring your arms out in a T position. Arms at the sides. Take a deep breath in. Stage three, wrist stretches. Exhale, draw the pinky finger in, the ring finger, the middle, the index, the thumb wraps the outside, curl the knuckles in towards the wrists. Push down in the legs. Inhale, open your palms. Squeeze the props. Exhale, draw the thumb in, the index, the middle, the ring, the pinky, 
and then tip the knuckles out away from you, stretching the inner wrists. Arms push against the floor. Inhale, open your hands. Exhale, draw the pinky finger in, the ring, the middle, the index finger. Wrap your thumb outside and curl knuckles in towards your wrists. Push down through your feet. Lengthen your back. Inhale. Open your hands. Exhale, draw the thumb in, the index, the middle, the ring, the pinky, and then curl the knuckles out, opening your wrists up. And then release. Bring arms down to your sides. Pause in your bridge. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, keep pushing through the legs. Hug your props to come all the way down. Remove your props. Roll over to your side and push up, keeping your head and your neck relaxed. Use one hand. All right. Let me make sure we're still recording here. Yeah, looks like it. Awesome sauce. I think we are. Yep, we still are. Awesome. That means you guys will have this on the YouTube today. I'm really glad about that. All right, Instagram land. How are we doing so far? Doing okay, Nascana? Just wave at me. You don't have to. You can stay if you need to. All right. So let's come into a dolphin pose. We've got so actually, we're not doing dolphin today. We're doing turbo puppy to turbo dog. So watch me first with this move. Bring a blanket or a prop to make sure you have your knees cushioned. If you need it, definitely. If you just want it, it's optional. And turbo dog and puppy. Toes are curled under, we're in a tabletop position. Knees under hips. Hands under shoulders to start and then move each hand forward, one full hand print. Elbows bend so they're three inches off the floor. Next, relax. Breathe into upper back. Side ribs, upper chest. Exhale, push the palms against the floor and squeeze inner elbows together. Upper arm bones slide into shoulders. Feel for that connection. Breathe into that place because in these turbo moves, it's often the shoulders that cry out for the most attention. But pay attention to where your body needs it. Just because I said that doesn't mean that's true for you. Breathe into what is true. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push down to the palms, squeeze inner elbows together and pull in on the belly, pushing back through your toes. If you have further to go, straighten the legs, but keep the elbows bent. If you need to check that, come down to your knees, look at what I'm doing, and then make your decision. Come back into the shape. Puppy or dog? Deep breath in. Stretch the upper back. Exhale, squeeze the inner elbows together. Push back through the toes and heels. A little bit of a softness around the knees. One more deep breath. Wrap the shoulders around the ribs and forward. Push back through your feet. Release. Lower the knees to the floor. Turn to the tops of the toes and come into embryo pose, lowering the forehead to the floor or a block. Stretching the breath through the low, the mid, to the upper back. Inhaling and exhaling exactly where you need it in your body. Where do you need the attention? Hmm. And then push 
down to the shins. And let's come up for basic Uddiyana. And then we'll move to our suns and such. And that's where I'll switch the Instagram off and come back to it, okay? And it might also give you that opportunity to make sure you have your wall space if you didn't already. Ah, Facebook land needs their, there we go. I'm gonna tip that screen up a little bit. Perfect, I'm starting to get a hang of all the technology. All right, so basic Udiana. So you weren't quite sure what we were doing with Udiana before. Now that I'm standing, it's a great opportunity to show you. So watch me first. And if you know this one, you can practice along and get in a few extra rounds. Never too much Udiana as far as I'm concerned. So with Udiana, Udiana means the belly flies up, and that means you get a broadening through the rib cage, particularly through the back of the ribs. I want you to focus on that today, all right, to make that your new favorite. So thumbs come into the hip creases. Feet are active and they're on your mat, they would be about the width of your mat. Because I'm turned towards you, that would be a little wide, right? So it looks like this. So it's that deep breath in, the hold, and then the belly draws back. Before coming to the inhale, there's a release of the belly muscles forward, and then you breathe in. That's just a little technique tri trick. So let's do it together. Let's do three rounds. You can even do this in a horse stance, a little wider, right? Maybe supporting yourself with the wall behind you. Use your wall now. Basic, we bring our feet a little closer together, though. All right, hands on hips. Take a deep breath in, or thighs. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Keep the breath out. Pull the belly back to spine. Let belly go. Now we'll do a couple more rounds. If you want to stay with basic, by all means. You can also, if you know this practice, do Agnisara with the belly moving back and forth. Or you can even do Nali, rolling. And I like to roll my hips a little bit. You might too to kind of get that, that action. We'll do it in both directions. So okay, I'm going to do Nali because I did it earlier this morning and I'd like to do it now. You guys pick what you want to do. All right, but it starts the same. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath, exhale out. Deep breath in, exhale. Wider stance, forward fold over the legs. And at least hands behind the back. If that's not accessible to you, keep your hands on your hips and use the hands to traction the hips way back behind you. Come back to a full breath in. breath out. Again, noticing what changes you've been able to open up in the body or what has opened in the body since the beginning of your practice. Just through your own attention and time in practice. Okay. Release the hands onto the back down to the floor, and heel toe your feet together. Push through the feet to come up. 
All right, and here's where I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the Instagram and we'll come back to this, okay? And I'm gonna turn it off now so we can move to sun salutations. And if it doesn't somehow, you know, go to the YouTube account and you'll be able to get the entirety of the practice uninterrupted. Okay, and it looks like we're back. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll do the sun salutations here, and then um, we'll get to a wall, we'll get to doing our wall work. That's why I've got the extra mat set up today. So to get started, come up to the front of the mat. Feet can be wide for a strong, a, a more, more stability if you need it, or bring the big toes to touch. All right. Bring the hands to heart center. Lengthen the tailbone to the ground, engaging the buttocks, active feet, shoulders soft. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale fully out. And then inhale, reach both arms up, palms in. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, step the left leg back, low lunge, flip the mat over, lower the knee and point the toes. Arms can come up, you can keep them also low. Pause, breathe in, active hands, active feet. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, come into your tabletop position, toes curled under, hands under shoulders, or go all the way to plank pose. Pause, breathe in. Exhale, come down to the knees. Push against the floor and lower, using gravity to help. Straight, reach back to the toes, curl pubic bone forward, and inhale, lengthen through upper back, lift chest. Lower down, exhale. And curl toes under and pick up to tabletop position. Stay here or go the rest of the way, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, bring right knee to the floor, point toes, arms reach up or keep them low. Pause, breathe in. Exhale, lower hands to the floor, step forward and hold, then relax. Inhale, push down through active feet and reach out to come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Hands can stay always on the hips for any of these moves to keep the shoulders protected if you need that. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the right leg back, knee down. Reach arms up, low lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back to table, or go full leg to plank. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, come down to the knees, and then lower all the way to the floor. Let go of the neck. Strong reach to the legs, inhale to come up, lift chest. And exhale, lower. Move through table or go all the way to downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, bring left knee to floor, reach arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to the floor, step forward and fold. Let go of the neck, let it hang. Even as you reach out and up to come up, Inhale, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach arms up. Forward fold, exhale. 
Lunge, inhale, step left leg back, knee down, arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, table or plank. You pick, pause, breathe here. Exhale, lower to the knees, draw shoulder heads back and lower all the way to the floor. Point toes, inhale. Curl pubic bone forward, lengthen and lift the upper chest, upper back. Lengthen and lower. Downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, bring right knee to floor. Low lunge, reach up. Pause. Feel the shape. Sense it, attend to it. Exhale, bring hands to the floor, step forward and fold. Inhale, reach around to come up, hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach arms up. Fold to fold, exhale. Inhale, step right leg back, knee down, arms up, low lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, come down to the knees, lower to the floor. Cobra pose, inhale, get long through the waist to come up. Reach through the legs, lower down, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, bring left knee down, reach arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. And fold, step forward. Inhale, reach forward to come up or keep the hands low. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, step left leg back, knee down, arms come up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, table or plank. Come down to the knees, draw shoulder heads back and lower. Cobra, inhale, expand the upper back as you lift. Exhale, lower, table or downward dog. Inhale, step left foot forward, bring right knee to floor, reach arms up. No pause here, right into the exhale, lower hands to the floor, step forward and fold. And push down for the feet, reach through the arms, come up, hands to heart, exhale. Pause, sense, attend. Intend. Be interested in how your body opens up. Be interested in how your body feels and how you feel. Let's do the B series. We're gonna do it at the, do some stuff on the wall, so set your mat up now if you haven't already. You know, make sure you have a block. We're not doing too much with it, but you may need it for support. Make sure that's nearby or anything to support the knees. And I'm actually gonna turn this camera. It's like camera people or something, right? Turn this one too for you, Donna. There you go. All right, awesome sauce. Step up to the front of the mat. Let's work a base series. Bring big toes to touch or keep the feet wide. We'll use two pose vignettes tonight. Active feet, active hands, bring them to heart center. Pause. Feel the body preparing for all the action in the standing poses and the wall work. 
Inhale, reach arms up and set hips back in the chair. Push into the heels, lift the toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, scooping the chest forward, pulling the belly in to create that scoop. Exhale, lower. Just step back into plank pose or work your table pose, right? Lower down through the knees or a full chaturanga to the floor. Low cobra, inhale, lengthen forward through the chest, reach back through the legs, lengthen the waist. Exhale, lower down. Downward facing dog. And for those of you who don't want to do those vinyasas, you know, those cobras, etc., you can just step the feet back and forth from downward facing dog or simply from a standing position. Practice in the way that keeps you attentive to your body. One more deep breath here. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Feet of warrior two, come up, arms at your sides and relax for shoulder shrugs. Push down through active feet, spread the toes and inhale. Draw the shoulders way up to the ears, draw them way back. And exhale, squeeze around the top of the spine and drag down. Pull the belly in and down and push the feet down. A deep breath into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Drag the shoulder blades down. Pull belly in and down and push the feet down. Inhale, breathe into the upper back. Bring the arms to the sides, palms up. Exhale, squeeze the arms against the body, pull the belly down, push down through the active feet. And then release, extended warrior variation. Inhale, bring left forearm onto the thigh, palm up. Exhale, bring right hand behind the back to grab onto the pants or maybe you get a hold of the thigh. Let go in the neck. breath to create a tension to both sides of the waist, lengthening like we did in those cobras. Lengthening, strengthening, opening up the core. Inhale and wind the arm through the back. Exhale, bring both hands to the floor and either step forward at this point to downward facing dog or step back into a table or plank. So we'll all pause to get here. Breath in. Exhale, come down to the knees or a full chaturanga to the floor if that's where you're practicing. Straight reach back through the toes, shoulders back. Inhale, curl the pubic bone forward, lengthen chest forward to lift. And exhale, lower down, curl toes under, downward facing dog. You can come up to the knees or full lift up to the hips. Hmm. Lower down to the knees. Let's come into dolphin at the wall. Curl toes under and bring the hips over the knees, heels on the wall behind you. If you're wearing long sleeves like I am, slide them up so you can expose the elbows. Bring both elbows to the floor under shoulders. If you're not working with a wall today, you're just doing this on your mat wherever you're at. Grab upper arms to measure the distance with opposite hands. And then swivel the hands forward to a clasp, interlacing the fingers. If you have a shoulder injury, if you're weak in the upper body, or if you simply want a strong basis of support. Otherwise, 
Separate the forearms, bring both palms to the floor. And everyone, relax the neck. Take a deep breath through the upper back. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back, push the forearms and palms against the, the floor. You curl the toes under strongly. If you're working the wall, put your heels on the wall. This may be where you stay, lengthening both sides of the waist, pushing the feet, pushing the arms. If you have further to go, you'll straighten the legs. Everybody take a deep breath in. Maybe doing that, straighten the legs, lift hips off the floor, pull the belly in and push forearms down, neck relax, heels back. Maybe going even further, stepping one foot up at the wall on hip height and then the other one. Creating an L shape in the body. Curl the pubic bone forward and lengthen the tailbone to the ceiling. Relax the neck. Take a deep breath in. Push the heels against the wall to stabilize. Exhale, pull the belly in, pull the front low ribs in, and lengthen the tailbone up. One more breath. And then to come out of the pose, step one foot down and then the other, lower both knees. Ooh, hi ho. Shift back into embryo. Turn to the tops of your toes, hips over heels, arms to the sides, palms up, forehead on the floor. Hmm. Full breath into low back. Mid, upper back, feel for that widening, that attention you're giving with your breath. Lengthen the tailbone, soften the chest and shoulders. And then inhale, push down through the shins and come into your kneeling position. Just as a reminder, I don't do embryo with you guys because if I put my face in my mat, you can't hear me. <laughs> All right, let's step forward. Come into downward facing dog. Hands under shoulders, and then step forward. Inhale, step the right foot forward, feet of warrior two. Arms at the sides for shoulder shrugs. Take a deep breath in. Activate the feet, draw the shoulders away up, and draw them away back. Exhale, squeeze around the top of the spine and drag down, pull the belly in and down. Strong reach of both legs into the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, draw the middle shoulder blades together, drag them down, pull the belly in and down and push the feet down. Bring the arms to the sides, palms up. Stage three, inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the arms against the body, drag the shoulder blades down, pull the belly in and down. Extended warrior variation. Inhale, bring the right forearm on the thigh, palm up. Exhale, bring the left arm behind the back, maybe grab a hold of the opposite thigh. If you've got the arm on the back, grab your clothes, your shirt, or your pants. Push down through both active feet. Relax the neck fully. Strengthen the breath. Strengthen your inner attention. Engage your inner world. Place the arm from the back, reach it straight up. Place both hands on the floor, step back, downward facing dog. Or you can simply step forward. Hmm. Inhale, step into warrior one, left foot forward. Hmm. Put the back heel down. Actually, let's make that a warrior two. 
walk that left foot in a little closer to the midline of the mat and then come up into warrior two position, heel to arch alignment. Working bird wing. So it's at stage three, shoulder shrugs move, arms up to sides, palms up. Take a deep breath into upper back. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down and squeeze arms against the body. Pull the belly in and down, feet push down. Really engage down to the legs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down, squeeze, arms against the body, pull the belly in and down. Expand the breath with the upper back. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down, squeeze, arms against the body. And then release, extended warrior. Here's where you might want to use your block. Take it inside your front foot. Left hand on the block. You can continue working the variation with the wrap. Or inhale, reach the right arm up to the ceiling. And if that's too much on the arm, you can always bring the end to shoulder. No matter what, relax the neck now and take a deep breath in to encourage that ease. Maybe reach the right arm forward over here. Leave your intention, your attention into this shape. to the floor, curl the back toes under. You can step forward from here. Move to down dog or plank. If you're working plank, moving through a vinyasa, lower through the knees or a full chaturanga to the floor. Straighten the legs, point toes. Inhale, lift chest. Lengthen through the back. Exhale, lower down. Downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, feet of warrior two. Arms at the sides for bird wing, palms up. Glue the arms to the ribs, no daylight. Spread the toes at the feet. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back. Shoulder blades down. Squeeze the arms against the body. Pull the belly in and down. Deep breath in. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down. Squeeze the arms against the body. Pull the belly down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down. Squeeze the arms against the body. Extended warrior. You can place your block on the inside of front foot, right hand on block. And the variations would be to work a wrap on the back, the thigh, or hand on shoulder. Otherwise, extend and reach the right arm, left arm, excuse me, over the ear. And you become absorbed in your own inner workings and the magnificence of your body making this shape and the amazingness that you're able to breathe through it what changes to the floor. Bring the back knee to the floor. And let's work it down dog at the wall. So in a very similar fashion to dolphin, which we just did earlier, we'll work down dog. 
So bring your feet back to the wall, and you can either choose to work dolphin if being on the forearms was a little more supportive for you, or you can work hands on the floor under the shoulders for down dog. Knees are bent directly under the hips. Toes are curled under, heels are on the wall behind you. You can also just do down dog in space on your mat. We'll work a long hold on it though, so follow the same cues, right? The leg engagement is still the same. Relax the neck. Push palms against the floor. Feel those inner elbows draw in. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push back through the heels, straighten the legs. You're up on the tippy tips of your toes. Push the heels against the wall or reach the heels to the floor if that's your move. If you have further to go, step one foot up on the wall and then the other at hip height. Spread the toes and anchor the heels firmly against the wall. Pull the front low ribs into the body. Tuck the tail, relax the neck. Take a deep breath in. Spread the upper back. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back. Wrap the shoulder blades around and forward. Lift the tailbone even higher. Deep breath in. And then release, step one foot down and then the other. And just hang in a forward fold. Oh, let go in the neck. Inhale. Round up through the spine or come up with a flat back if you have bone density issues. Make sure that you need, you need to, oh, never do rounding if that's your deal. I lied, you might need your strap to make for Archer, but if you don't have one, you didn't get one, it's a pain in the ass to go get one, don't bother. We can do close, close wraps, right? So let's step into warrior two with the left foot forward, right foot back. Let's work on locking the shoulders. Now, if you've ever had a shoulder injury in terms of mainly a shoulder dislocation, the second stage is one you won't do. Otherwise, you'll do, if you, that's the case for you, you'll stay at the stage one position, right? The stage two position is to place the hand inside the bicep, and then stage three, everybody can do one, three, and one. But again, if you have dislocated your shoulder, this isn't your move, all right? So that's on the left side. No, I'm so true on the right side. I'll remind you when we get there. Activate your feet, spread your toes, and bring the left elbow up at a 90 degree bend. Take the right thumb into the left armpit and wrap the fingers around the side of the body. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, flex the left armpit muscle into the thumb. Pull the shoulder head back, shoulder blade down, pull the belly in now. Stay here if you've had a dislocation. If not, bring the palm into the left inside bicep. Deep breath in. Exhale, draw the shoulder head back, push the arm into the bicep, mm, palm, palm into bicep. And then stage three, like I said, we can all do that one. Bring the hand into the inner elbow. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the shoulder heads back and down, push the elbow into the palm, palm pushes back. Pull the shoulder heads back and down. We'll do the other side later. Let's go to Archer. This is, might be where you need your strap. Inhale. Reach up to the right arm. Strap or no strap. Exhale. Bend the elbow and grab the top of your shirt if you're not working a strap. And bring the left arm behind to grab some other part of your shirt or the strap. Maybe you can get your fingertips with ease. And if that's the case, go for it. And give yourself another helping of breath. Take a deep breath through the space where your arms are on your back now. Feel the attention you're giving yourself. Chip 
close the net, so we're going to add a third. So let's come in a triangle from here. Heel tuck the back foot in a little closer. You can work a wrap with the right arm behind the back for triangle today. Take your block on its high side in the side of the front foot. Push the hand onto that block, left hand that is. Right arm can stay on the back if you can. If not, place your hand on the waist or maybe reach the arm up. Relax the neck. Stretch the breath again through both sides of the waist. See if you can lengthen that left waist as you breathe in. You can get the left waist, I bet the right lengthens too. Take a deep breath in, notice that. And exhale. Release the arms, bring both hands down to the floor. Step to your forward fold or just a full stance or down dog or step to plank, you pick. Deep breath in. Exhale, come down to the knees or a full chaturanga. Shoulders relaxed. Legs are strong. Inhale, lengthen through upper back. Exhale, lower down. Hmm. Downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, feet of warrior two. Unlocking the shoulders. Bring Right forearm up, elbow bend at 90. Right, there's your move. Take the left thumb to the right armpit and wrap arms around the side of the body. Take a deep breath into the upper right shoulder. Engage and push down through the feet. Exhale, push the armpit muscle against the thumb, draw the shoulder heads back and pull the belly back and down. If you've dislocated your shoulder on this side, stay in one. Otherwise, hand comes to stage two inside the bicep. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the shoulder head back and down. Push the bicep into the palm. Palm pushes back. Feet push down. Inhale, bring the hand inside the elbow. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, shoulder heads back. Push elbow into palm. Palm pushes back. Arch or pose. If you're working with your strap, inhale, grab it in the left hand, reach arm up. Exhale, bring, bend the elbow, bring hand behind the back. Bring right hand behind to grab strap, close, or maybe your fingers. You pick. Now, if you just shoved your hips forward to do that, draw your front lower hips into your body. And the blessing of the camera, I can see some of these little things that I do. When we pay attention to ourselves, we start to notice those things. Inhale, release. Straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Heel toe the back foot in a little closer. Work with your block. If you like, take it inside the front foot, high side. Right hand on block. Inhale, bring the left arm behind for that wrap. Grab close, straighten the front leg. If you need to have the hand on the hip, go there, shoulder or reach up. Feel the shape that your body would like. And do it, no matter what I'm doing. That's a novel idea, right? Take a deep breath in. Feel for opening up the right side of the waist, no matter what shape you're taking. That I will insist on. You may still wish to blow me off, though. <laughs> That's okay. Take a deep breath in. And then release. 
sunwind or lower the arm, you pick. Lower the back knee and we're gonna work dolphin on the wall, one leg up. Work dolphin on the wall in the former version or work down dog at the wall. You know, check out what you need right now. See what's up. Curl the back toes under. Heels on the wall if that's your move. If you're working in the space in, your, in the space of your room, no wall, that's cool. If you're working, no matter what though, dolphin needs you to roll those sleeves up to expose the elbows. And then bring elbows to the floor under shoulders. And always grab upper arms to measure distance. And then swivel the hands forward. For more support, you're clasping and interlacing the fingers. If you don't need that, separate the forearms, palms on the floor. Neck relaxed. Take a deep breath in for low back. Exhale, push down through the forearms. Pull in the low belly and curl the toes under strongly. Maybe straightening the legs, lifting the hips. Maybe stepping one foot up at hip height and then the other on the wall. Make the L shape with the body. Inhale, push the left foot into the wall and reach the right leg straight up to the ceiling. Exhale, wrap the shoulder blades around the body and hook them into the chest muscles to help you straighten and reach stronger through that leg. And release, bring that foot to the floor. Change sides, maybe stepping down if you need to. Otherwise, inhale and lift left leg to the wall. Let go in the neck. Wrap the shoulder blades. Hook them into the front of the chest to give you the body strength you need. So the neck can let go. Take a deep breath in. And then release, bring left foot down, both knees down, move into embryo, tops of the toes turn to the floor, bring arms to the sides, palms up, neck relaxed, deep in the breath. Hmm. Strengthen your connection to your body using your breath. Feel into the body using your breath. Push down to the shins and inhale to come back to a kneeling position and then up to downward facing dog. Or you can just step forward. Now, warrior one, inhale, step the left foot forward, pivot the right heel down. Push through that right heel to come up. Pull the belly in and lengthen the tailbone down. Bend the front knee. Eagle arms. Inhale, bring the forearms to press, palms press for stage one. Otherwise, bring right elbow on the inside of left, back of palms together, or double wrap. Listen to the body, what does it want? Wherever you decide, end up wherever you land on that, haha, -ha, the ego has landed, pick up the elbows slightly and bow the head forward. Activate both hands, activate both feet. Soften the shoulders. Expand the breath. Straighten the front leg. Grab your block, place it inside the front foot on the high side. Pull up on the right side of the belly. 
to engage the back leg. Oh. Feel some lengthening forward through the upper back. Neck relax. Feel for pulling the low belly in and pushing that back foot further into the floor. Maybe lowering your body into a deeper fold block on a different height or using no block. But don't let your spine round too much and collapse in the shape. You'll be using your breath to create as much space and length. And room for attention and communication in the mind. Inhale, bend the front knee. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, feet of warrior one. Push through the back heel and keep pushing as you come up. Eagle arms, bring the forearms to press. Bring left elbow inside right, single or double wrap. Lift the elbows up and let the forehead rest forward wherever you choose to hold the shape in the arms. Meet the places of resistance in the body with your attention. Use your breath to create that attention. Inhale to unwind. Straighten the front leg, grab your block, place it on the high side for pyramid. Walk on the inside of front foot. Pull up on the left side of the belly to engage the left leg. Soften what might be raging in your body with your back breath. Forward bend over that leg to any degree. Bend the front knee. We come down to both knees. Final upside down wall piece. Down dog at the wall, one leg up. All right, so you can work dolphin. You can work down dog. You can work any variation of wall that we've done if you didn't feel like you really could get that piece, right? I'm gonna cue all the one leg up step in dolphin and dog and downward dog. But pick where you actually really want to work. All right? And choose. All right? Hands under shoulders for down dog at the wall. Toes curl under. Heels push into wall. If you're doing down dog up, uh, down dog one leg up and you're just in space, the cues are essentially the same. Take a deep breath into upper back. Start on hands and knees. Exhale. Push the palms down. Curl the toes under. Reach back to the heels. Maybe straighten the legs, lift the hips. 
If you're working on the wall, step one foot up against the wall and straighten the leg to bring the other leg up to join it at hip height. Create the L shape in your body. Take a deep breath into the upper back, everybody. Push the palms firmly against the floor and reach both hips up to the ceiling. If you have further to go, straighten the back leg and reach it straight back behind you. If you're working the wall, you're reaching it to the ceiling. Wrap the shoulder blades around. Slide the shoulder blades forward to support chest action. Hands push down. Leg reaches higher. And then switch legs, bring right foot back to the wall of the floor, then inhale, left leg reaches up. Strengthen your breath, use it to create intelligence to tell you what to do here. To give you information about where your body needs support and then what to do to put that support in place. One more breath. And then release. If you're on the wall, step one foot down and then the other. Forward bend. Relax the neck. Interlace hands at the base of the skull. You can grab on to fistfuls of hair and pull the hair away from the scalp or interlace hands at the base of the skull and use the arms as weight. Bend the knees slightly. And stretch your breath through your upper back. Lengthen the waist. And then release, let the arms go. Push down through the feet and lengthen up through the spine. Chest opener at the wall. This is our final pose. We'll actually do this though standing. This is a different shape. Hmm. It's a warrior one stance. The placement is found by coming into a 90 degree bend. So you actually have your arm against your waist with your palm on the wall, fingertips point up. That forearm distance is how far you should be from the wall. So stand against, stand with your side to the wall, your left foot forward. And again, the elbow is right in the waist with the hand on the wall. Right foot is back in a warrior one position. Right arm, take a deep breath in, reach it out. And then exhale, bring that hand around to the left upper shoulder collarbone area. Push into the legs like a real warrior one. It's not like a lame warrior. It's a warrior, right? We don't get lame on it here. Activate the feet, press the legs into the ground. And then if you have further to go, you can slide the left hand back so it's on the wall behind you. Elbow is bent. You'll probably see this better in the video when I turn around. Come into a neck release pose, bending your right ear over the right shoulder. Push through that right leg strongly. And that will give a little turn of the torso towards the wall. Breathing into the left upper chest. And then release, straighten the front leg. Turn towards the wall to switch sides. Excuse me, props. So stepping into warrior one position with the right foot forward again. Elbow is at the waist on the hip and the palm is on the wall, fingertips up. Bring left hand over to the upper right shoulder. Fingertips are on collarbone. Slide the right hand back so the hand is on the wall. Feet, are in a feet and legs are in a strong warrior one. 
pushing down through the legs and into the floor. Increase the feeling of breath in that right upper chest. Push the right hand against the wall. And release, straighten the front leg. Turn toes to the center of the room and heel toe your feet together. So your Shavasana is now. <laughs> you can come into Shavasana wherever you are in your space. Maybe if you want to do more chest opening, if you don't have a wall to work with, you can work with the roll under the mat. Show that to you. I always am a big fan of this move. And the roll is right between the shoulder blades. If you've got a clippy or a pony, you're going to have to let that go. But the, really the, the prop that you're using will be way up under the shoulder blades. And I also highly recommend having a prop that's higher, taller than the, than the prop under the back so the chin can rest forward and the head is fully supported. And in this move, I really do like the feet on the floor, knees bent, tucking the tail. And then if you extend the legs, placing a prop underneath the legs and retucking. Now, if you want to work legs up the wall, the move is thus. Starting with your hips against the wall. Scooting the hips out just enough and then back forward to get the butt, the buttocks moving for, toward the wall. And then scooting, scooting, scooting. You can even take a block or your pillow or something and place it under the sacrum. Arms open in T position. To come out of the pose, feet come to the wall, then over to the side. Come back relaxed. So those are your options for Shavasana, or however you want to take your Shavasana. Again, you cannot pay attention to me whatsoever and do whatever you want. It's all good. It's your practice. All right? But please enjoy it. And I'll upload this video later to YouTube. Please go to that Lisa Maxwell. Dot, Lisa Maxwell Loring is the YouTube channel. And that is where I have a bunch of videos where you can do, and you're welcome to do that. These videos are my gift to you. These classes are my gift to you. And just like the only thing I ask is that you like the, like to keep them coming to a higher visibility. That's the way Google politics works. Like, subscribe, share the videos, comment on them. All, any kind of interaction you do helps to create the visibility so other people can also benefit, which is what I definitely want. If you feel like making a donation, number one, thank you to those of you who have. That is greatly appreciated. Um, my PayPal address, I will make sure to include that in the descriptions of all videos. And it's also in my bio on Instagram. I love you very much. And it's been my honor to serve as a practitioner, as a teacher for many years. And I will continue to do so. I'm grateful to have these skills to share. I'm grateful for you. Bye, Donna. Okay.